divide by is called an irrational number so hello students you already know the question let's get back to the answer so i'll explain the question a bit the thing is ki pi we say that it is an irrational number hai na to by the definition of irrational number we know that the irrational number should be a never ending digit after the decimal so it would be somewhat like 3.14 dot 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 it when it ends we don't know and neither it is repeating so we this should be the value of irrational but we write pi as either 22 by 7 which is p by q form it is a rational number or we use 3.14 again we are not putting dot dot over here this means ki this is also a p by q form only 314 by 100 clear or not clear so this is becoming p by q form so it is kind of rational number but actually we say pi is an irrational number now what is the reason behind that let's get back okay so the formula where we use pi is what formula is circumference of the circle right so it must be related to circle circumference circumference of circle is equal to what 2 pi r hai na but my question is just like the question about which came first whether the hen or the egg the question is whether circumference came first or whether pi came first unlike that hen and egg question i have an answer over here which came first yes many mathematicians you know many mathematicians they did experiments formula does not gets formed in one day it is years of hard work and observation and calculation then only a formula is formed hai na so what many scientists or mathematicians did they did draw many circles of various radius hai na various radii some small some big some more small but one thing was very common ki every circle had a circumference and every circle had a diameter now of a peculiar thing that they observed was every time they measured this periphery or the this or this circumference of the circle when they divided the circumference of the circle any circle of any radius for all radius this was valid circumference by the diameter they obtained the same ratio it was valid for a circle of radius 5 cm also 6 cm also 8 9 10 any any circle the ratio always used to come 3 point something and this was not ending right but as you can try this at your home also we'll see how but before a fun fact now why did the name was given as pi now pi actually belongs to greek alphabet and in greek it means ferry ferry hai na so because pi is related to ferry ferry of the circumference hai na that's why ferry ferry or the circumference of the circle ferry ferry of the circle that's why the name was given as pi to that ratio the ratio of what circumference by diameter was given the name as pi also 14th march is celebrated as pi day because what how do you write the date like 14 3 2020 hai na like this but some countries like write the date like this hai na 314 so from there only 3.14 34 does it resemble not much hai na that's what but largely it hai na it's the same thing that's why 14th march is celebrated as pi day clear okay now the main thing what you can do you just repeat this experiment at your home hai na you draw a circle draw a circle of any radius now i would recommend you to draw a circle with the help of some thread hai na with a thread and after drawing that circle hai na or you draw the circle and then measure the circumference with the help of thread anything can do 
है ना यू जस्ट मेजर द सर्कम फ्रेंस ऑफ द सर्कल दैट यू हैव ड्रॉन है ना और यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस एंड जस्ट कट इट ओवर हेयर मेक इट अ स्ट्रेट लाइन लाइक दिस सो दिस इज वॉट आई विल गेट द सर्कम फ्रेंस ऑफ द सर्कल यू हैव टू मेजर द सर्कम फ्रेंस दैट्स द वर्क एंड देन द डायमीटर जस्ट डिवाइड द सर्कम फ्रेंस बाय द डायमीटर you will get something in the ratio 3 point something i am not saying you will get 3.142856780 that depends on the accuracy the more accurate you calculate some might not even get some might get 3.25 some might get 3.4 anything that depends upon the accuracy but one thing is for sure if you are taking you are drawn the circle accurately you will get something in 3 Exact three point one four you won't get, but something in the ratio three will you, you will get, and that depends ki whether you will take any any radii. The same ratio will come. Three point something it will come. Clear? So there is what this ratio we call as pi. Is it clear? I know. So first. circumference when you write 2 pi r obviously pi did not came first the observation that for any circle the circumference by 2 r is always equal to some ratio and that ratio will call as pi right and now we come back to the value of pi hmm now you can also take any circular item which is circular already circular you just calculate its ferry ferry hai na and take its measure its diameter two ways of doing it and you can observe this hai na measure this circumference and the diameter divide it you will get okay so now how exactly so archimedes was this scientist a mathematician who attempted to calculate the value of pi first hmm? to obtain the accuracy in calculating the circumference was the bigger problem you drew a circle okay he also drew a circle now what he did the method that he adopted that as you can see this is a regular polygon all the sides are equal right all the sides are equal so he inscribed a polygon in the circle inside the circle he drew a polygon hai na this is pentagon inside the circle and then a pentagon outside the same circle so one inscribed and one circumscribed so if you are able to get a side so here sorry what will be the perimeter of the polygon which is circumscribed 5a what will be the perimeter of the uh, polygon which is inscribed 5a dash now it is obvious that 5a will be greater than 5a dash but the perimeter of circle will lie somewhat between 5a and 5a dash right so he tried to approximate now obviously they will not get an exact value of the perimeter of the circle by this method but what he did he did not stop with this pentagon he moved on to hexagon then as he go went on increasing the sides of the polygon he calculated the same thing with 96 sided polygon 96 sided polygon he did the same he inscribed a polygon and then circumscribed a polygon and he knew that as i am growing closer more sides i am getting more accurate to knowing the actual circumference of the circle because he was knowing the upper bound hai na and he was knowing the lower bound with the help of the inscribed so polygon used to get the lower bound of the circumference and upper bound of the circumference by the sir, uh, sir, uh, perimeter of the circumscribed polygon 
सो विथ नाइंटी सिक्स साइडेड ही गॉट सम वैल्यू है ना सो ही अप्रोक्सीमेटेड विथ हिस फाइनल कैलकुलेशन दट द पाई विल सम वॉट लाई बिटवीन टू टू थ्री बाई सेवन वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन Now this is where he told that the upper bound of pi will be twenty-two by seven. He did not tell that pi will be equal to twenty-two by seven. But this led the upper bound of pi, which was twenty-two by seven, led to a popular belief that pi is equal to twenty-two by seven. I hope you get it now, right? so this was the story behind pi as 22 by 7 now where did 3.14 come from so when you divide 2 to 3 by 7 1 obviously this is a ratio so it will end and it has got some what value between 3.1408 you know and this you get it 3.14285 like this it goes on you know but it ends after certain two more digits you know it it is a recurring decimal it is also recurring decimal so that's what he took ki okay here 3.14 is there 3.14 okay so pi is approximately equal to 3.14 also approximately equal to 22 by 7 but the thing is that ki neither 22 by 7 is equal to 3.14 Neither three point one four is equal to pi. Pi lies somewhat between twenty two by seven and two two three by seven one. And when converted in decimal, three point one four zero eight and three point one four two eight five, it is just an approximated value three point one four. Is it clear? So now do you get it? Ki how we got the values twenty two by seven and pi, uh, for pi and three point one four. So this was the story, right? And but the actual value of pi. is still not known because whenever you do the actual calculation the actual circumference that you get the result will always be a irrational number 3.142895 we don't know when it will end right it will come like this it will come somewhat like this till now with the help of some uh, scientific calculators you know and with the help of advent of machines we are able to calculate up to pi up to million decimal places right and it may interest you or make you proud to know that india presently holds the record for memorizing yes memorizing the maximum number of digits of pi hmm so suresh kumar sharma since 2015 no he had held this record he was a chinese from 2005 2015 but as you can see four names out of top 5 are indians you know he has memorized up to 70030 digits clear so that's what is the thing clear so this was the whole story about pi i hope you have understood Hana? So, if you uh, want more such videos, do subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you.